Hi Aquarius, welcome back. Okay, so this week I'm going to do a general tarot quickie reading for the week of December 10th. Um, I'm on a time crunch this week, guys. I need to get caught up with my private readings and I have an event um, tomorrow in Charlotte, the 1111 event. Um, if you're in the area, please come and check it out. You can meet me and get a private reading. It should be a good time. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm going to do a general quickie reading just to get you something for next week. Something's better than nothing. And then I'll resume the in-depths um, next week. Remember, because this is a general reading, it can go uh, vice versa. It may not resonate with every Aquarius walking this earth, but if it does, please do like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like something specific to you, you can uh, book a private reading at tarottimewithdana.com. That information is in my description box below. If you'd like to come see me at uh, the event in Charlotte, that information is in my community tab. Okay. So, Aquarius, I feel like um, in the recent past here, a lot of you may have had somebody return to you. Um, you might have gotten communication or clarity um, from this person. But it's almost like these cards out. <laughs> I, I just get this overall feeling too, Aquarius, that a lot of you have been stuck in your heads for a while. Okay. And I do feel like um, in your recent energy that you've actually had a little bit of clearing up of the gunk in your mind. You know, you might have maybe finally saw something for what it was and gained clarity over that situation. You kind of feel like um, it's a cycle uh, either with this with this relationship and um, Sorry, I'm trying to get all of this. Let me take it all in. <laughs> Got the magician or karma, the karmic wheel. Uh, Ace of Swords, Nine of Wands. Yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, you were unclear or you felt like you didn't have all of the information. Um, and you've gained some sort of clarity in the uh, recent past um, because it's in your energy. And it's almost like, karmically speaking, because you have the karmic wheel here, something is being returned to you, um, or someone has returned or is returning, or you're desiring that communication. Um, for a lot of you, you go in cycles with this person, where they might be distant, and then they come back together. Of course, this can go vice versa. Aquarius, you may be the one doing this to someone where, like, you go rogue or go distant and then you want to come back. Maybe it goes back and forth like that, you know? But then I feel like, um, yes, you do gain some clarity, but then I don't feel like it's an actually... Wow, hold on, I'm sorry. I'm getting so many different messages here. You have the Eight of Wands in reverse. Temperance. Four of Swords. Ace of Wands. Three of Swords. The freaking Tower. Aquarius. Hold on to your pants. This, this is going to be an interesting week. <laughs> and then I had an extra card pop out. Uh, Page of Pentacles. So, Aquarius, yeah. I feel like something unexpected that... you didn't see coming might knock your socks off this week okay 
and um, I don't necessarily see this as a completely negative energy because you have two new beginnings here. You've got the Ace of Swords, which speaks of new communication or getting new information. Uh, and then you've got the Ace of Wands, which talks about um, new action, new passion, new projects, etc. But then you have these cards that follow, which is the Three of Swords in reverse. I actually like that the Three of Swords is in reverse because that means that whatever is going on this week, it's something old that's resurfacing because you have the karmic wheel here. Okay. So I feel like, okay, I'm putting the story together now. I feel like for a lot of you, there's a situation that you put to rest a while ago that is somehow resurfacing this week. Okay. Either because this person is coming back around to you or has moved towards you or You've gotten some new, like, information about them. Um, and so it's kind of bringing all of the emotions up again. Okay? Um, and it might throw you off balance this week. And I feel like, Aquarius, you've really been focusing on regaining that balance, regaining your health, um, taking time out for yourself, for some of you, you blocked communication with this person, either currently or in the past. Um, but yet, yeah, somehow, you still receive communication about them, or you still receive some sort of knowledge there. This is like a very interesting reading. For some of you, you have a friend, this is like a friendship, because I see temperance as the friendship card. You may have a friend that's returning, and that shocks the hell out of you, and you really don't even know what to do about it, because you had already laid this to rest. Uh, you feel like this person hurt you, and then, you know, here they are. Bam. Um, and it just totally throws your balance off. And then you have the Page of Pentacles here. I'm sorry, I, I'm not trying to do long pauses or I'm just, there's so many different, there's so much going on this week, Aquarius. It's like, um, it's like a mixed bag. I see really great cards and then I see some very dark cards. So Aquarius, watch your temperament this week because I feel like you could be like living on the clouds one second and then down in the dumps and then living on the clouds and then, you know what I'm saying? So I really feel like temperance is going to be really important this week. Do not let the situation or this person knock you off your balance. Okay? Because I feel like there's a high possibility that there's going to be some old hurt dredged up this week. And I feel like um, for some of you... Um, This person, or this, it's purposeful. Meaning, like, there's somebody coming that sees you doing well, Aquarius. That sees that you are having new beginnings. That you are finding balance. That, you know, they may uh, feel like they've lost your attention. And so... You know, they may have not been communicating with you, but they were fully aware or watching or, you know, still felt there was potential there. And then so, like, here they come. Um, here they come back around. Some of them may even communicate and reach out. And the, it's purposeful. It's purposeful 
because what they want to do is they want to put you back into this. Because like I said, there might be somebody external to you that sees you having a new beginning and they don't like it. So, yeah. Now, that's not going to be for all of you. I... I feel like if that's your situation, you know, because you see this person in a manipulative light. So you know that they try to, um, or that they have in the past done something similar to this. For some of you, it's not in a manipulative way. It's just that uh, you have somebody external to you that feels hurt by you, um, Aquarius. You might have abruptly cut off communication with this person and they're feeling hurt about it and um it's really rocking their boat actually because certainly this could be vice versa you know what i'm saying so you know this person might have been trying to come towards you or move towards you and then you abruptly like cut off some type of communication or you didn't move towards them in return like you don't reciprocate and it just totally shocks them because I feel like this person thinks for some of you going back to sorry the, to the more manipulative person for some of you this person thinks that they can come and go as they please like they can um, come back as many times as they want and Aquarius, I feel like you might be on to something new. And so they're trying to, to repeat that again. And they may succeed, actually, in throwing you off balance. Um, so. Interesting, interesting. Wow. Let's get one overall message. <laughs> this is reconsider. Ah, that's what I was just saying. Aquarius. If you have somebody coming back around that makes you feel like this. This is the Three of Swords. This is an extremely painful card, but this is in the past. So this has already happened. So that means in the past, they've made you feel like this. All right, but you have gotten over that or you're in the process of healing from that. And this person comes back around or is trying to get your attention or is trying to make you fall from grace. Do not allow that. Do not allow another person to do that to you. Okay? So I feel like also if, uh, for those of you that are thinking of allowing this person to come back in, reconsider. Okay, Aquarius, of course, this could go vice versa. If you did this to somebody else, then they need to reconsider. So, let me tell you what zodiac signs I see. I have Sagittarius, um, Aries, Leo, Sag Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So that I got a lot of fire here. Um, Scorpio um, could be another air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, possibly an Earth sign, but I see that more of an energy. Excuse me. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, don't get caught up on the zodiac signs, guys. That's a general read. If you want a private reading, you can book at tarotimewithdana.com. If that resonated, please do like, share, and subscribe and comment.
And like I said, I'll be back with the in-depth readings next week. I do wish you all the very best. Uh, namaste. Bye-bye.